Hi, this is Mr. Biotech of ScreenYourScreen.com giving a five-minute overview of the Sharpie alternative shell from Microsoft Windows. And here it is. When we're talking about a shell, we're talking about the program in Windows that displays your wallpaper, makes your desktop icons, and gives you that taskbar and system tray and stuff. And that it's very configurable. In Windows, you can not use the default. You can download all sorts of free ones, such as Sharpie. Now, Sharpie's been around for a while, but it's perpetually beta although in my hands it has been exceptionally stable. So let me show you a little bit about what it's made of. Uh, starting with the bottom bar here, we've got a standard task bar that's available, a system tray as is usual in Windows, a quick launch of sorts, and then uh, minimize buttons, restore all windows. We also have a virtual window manager here, like having three separate desktops using one monitor. Pretty convenient. Uh, as we move up, we have desktop icons and a wallpaper which are also very easily configured um, and just as an example of how configurable Sharp E is I'm going to right click this My Computer option here and you can see that these desktop icons can be locked they can also be positioned relative to each other via alignments or you can even change their Z order so you can overlap them have them always on top send them to the back of the Z stack etc so they can they can be in front of each other that can be nice if you're trying to build a complicated desktop theme uh, as far as the start menu, if you right click on the desktop, you get this kind of a setup. It's pretty standard. Those of you who use Aston Shell or Lightstep will be very used to this, or even uh, Blackbox. Um, this is very easily customized, and I'll show you that in a second, but I just want to point out this really slick glass feature. So it's blurring the wallpaper behind it. That's something that theme uh, creators can add just by clicking a single box. So it's built into the system, very easy to use. Uh, so this is also like your start button up here. They've moved it, but you can configure where you want it in the program. They have a recently used items, most used, all sorts of other widgets that are included. They even make their own notes program, which I think is a lot better than notepad.exe. Now we can configure these directly by hitting this button all the way to the left side. We can change uh, our modules, shift them around, move them around, or include new ones. These are the ones that are included by default. They give you a pretty healthy list, and I believe they have even more online. We can even change the skins directly from this dialog. Uh, previous versions of Sharpie just let you change system colors, but now the, the whole thing, you can include different themes with different graphics. Let me give you a, another example of a theme that they have. This one's called Sept, as it loads. And we get kind of this Vista looking feature, which is quite pleasing to the eye, I think. Now, as I mentioned, all the configuration is done through a graphic user interface, which is really slick. And Lightstep, which is another favorite shell of mine, you have to do everything via the, uh, like a text editor. It's all editing text files. Blackbox is similar in that respect as well. Uh, here, however, they have this really slick graphic user interface where you can change your menus, you can just drag things around to change their order, etc. They also have a couple other graphic widgets that they use to assist uh, people who might be new to the system. Let me go to services. So I'm going to look at the virtual window manager here clicking on this option. I'm going to edit. So I've got three virtual desktops right now. If I go to change that, they give you a slider. So you'll notice as I drag this up, I can increase the amount or decrease it, or I could do it incrementally using these buttons. I think it's a real handy feature that they've built in. And you can change the wallpaper, you can change your shortcut keys, you can change all sorts of stuff using this dialog. Very easy for the newcomer. And uh, I want to make sure that you know the website. It's sharpe-shell.org. Very usable. Uh, and so let me just wrap up and give you my pros and cons. I think it's really easy to install. This is version TD6 that I'm employing. Uh, all you had to do is unzip the archive and move it to your programs uh, directory. And you can start, or you have to change the shell. They provide a program to do that as well. Once you get it switched over to Sharpie, it's easy to use. A complete noob can get used to the system in probably under 10 minutes. It's very easy to get a hold as to what's going on. And because they make it so easy to configure, there's less of an entry curve for this. People who are completely new to alternative shells can very quickly customize the entire setup to be what they like uh, because it is so highly configurable. And I, of course, love the fact that you can theme it very easily. I only brought this up cursorily. Uh, themes for this are all present as uh, XML files with graphics. And so XML, if you like the format, this is going to work well for you. If you don't, like me, you're probably going to have to get a program like XML Notepad. 
so that you can edit your options with a slick little interface like this. One of the benefits of using XML. So it's completely possible to skin it and uh, it's free. Uh, it's made primarily with open source projects off to the sides. Now cons, as I showed you earlier, sometimes things are a little bit slow to pull up in Sharp Center or the, the menu. If I go to click that, it takes it a couple seconds before it pulls up. But besides that, the stability of it has been very impressive in my hands. And uh, it's, it's slick to look at, it's easy to theme, and it's exceptionally uh, easy to configure. I'm Mr. Biotech, and this is a review from SkinYourScreen.com.